Hello and welcome to a quick video lecture. Uh, I'm calling it Math with Manipulatives. So your first question might be, what the heck is a manipulative? My favorite manipulative, chocolate chips. Um, manipulatives are just any kind of little thing that you can use to count with. So chocolate chips, you might have beans, you might have pasta, you might have, I don't know, little toys. Um, any, any little thing, marshmallows, anything you got that you can use to count with will be perfect for our math with manipulatives. So let's do our first question I have prepared for you here. So the vet asks you to prepare a prescription for a six kilogram dog. The order gives the dosage as two milligrams per kilogram BID X10D. The drug comes in 12 milligram tablets. What is the dose? and how much total drug is dispensed. So let's refresh our memory about our formulas first of all. So dose is going to be the body weight times the dosage divided by the concentration. Whoops, concentration. So uh, in this example, our body weight is right here. It's six kilograms. So six kilograms is our body weight. Our dosage is two milligrams per kilogram, and our concentration is 12 milligrams per tablet. So if we wanna use manipulatives for a question like this, um, we can do it this way. So first let's focus on this portion of um, the question. So we need to know how many milligrams we're gonna be giving our animal, uh, cause the, the dose is going to be in milligrams here. So dosage, we're, get, we're given two milligrams per kilogram. So for every one kilo that the dog is, we need two milligrams. So this dog is six kilos. So I can make six groups of two. two and two. So I have six groups of two here. So I have one for each kilo, right? One section for each kilo, and I have two milligrams for each kilo. So if I add them all up, I don't even have to do any multiplying here. I can just add, I can just count them all if I'd like. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So the answer to this section here is 12 milligrams, okay? So six, I have six sections with two chocolate chips. So that gives me a total of 12 chocolate chips. So if each chocolate chip represents one milligram, I need 12 milligrams. Now, if for my next part, I need to divide that 12, which is the total now is 12. We've made one big thing here of 12. I need to divide that by the concentration. So each tablet, has 12 milligrams. So I have 12 here, right? I just counted them all out for you, I've got 12. I'm just making them a little bit more organized so it looks like 12. So I have 12 milligrams of chocolate chips here and there's 12 milligrams in one tablet. So 12 is equal to one tablet then, right? Because we're doing 12 divided by 12. So um, we end up with just the one tablet as our dose here, okay? So now if we move on to the next part, which is our dosage. Okay, sorry, so anyway, our dose ends up being 12 divided by 12, which equals one tablet, okay? So now we wanna know how much total drug is being dispensed. So let's refresh our memory on that formula as well. So total dispensed, I'm just gonna put DISP for now. Total dispensed, our formula is going to be the dose times the dosage interval times the duration. And I'm just gonna scritchy scratch that out there so we're not looking at that. So what is our dose? We know from up here it's one tablet. And what is our dose interval or our dosage interval? We can look back to the question and we can see right here BID. So BID, <coughs> is twice per day. So BID is two then. Our dosage interval is two, because in one day, 
we're going to give two doses per day. Uh, I guess doses in there. And then how long is this going to be for? It's for 10 days. 10 days. So let's think about this then. So I need one tablet for each dose. So I have one manipulative here. Um, I need though to give two doses per day. So for each dose, each day I'll need two tablets. And then I need 10 days worth. So I can go ahead and count out two then per day. Where did this guy come from? Okay, so we have one, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven, day eight, day nine, day 10. So I have one tablet at each dose and two doses per day. So one tablet for the dose, two doses per day, and 10 days overall. So I can go ahead and just add all these up, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that equals 20 tablets. Or I could put it in on my calculator and go one tablet and I'm giving two doses per day and I'm doing that for 10 days and that gives me a total of 20. Okay, so when I'm asked the question, what is the dose? I figured out up here that the dose is one tablet. And then how many am I dispensing? I'm dispensing 20 tablets, okay? So that's our first example. I'm just gonna clear this page now. I've got two other examples for you. I picked like animals with low numbers and um, I made like no, low weights, sorry. And I made the math so that it was like fairly simple in terms of the manipulatives, just to be able to demonstrate it for you guys. You can, I think once you understand the concept of what exactly we're doing, I think it makes a lot more sense for you. Um, and then hopefully those other numbers, you, it, it, it makes more sense abstract. But I picked easy numbers for here since we're just kind of learning and, and, and building these skills. So a three kilogram cat requires an antibiotic prescription. The dosage is 10 milligrams per kilo, TID, X 14 days. The drug comes in 15 milligram tablets. So what is the dose and how many tablets will be dispensed? So dose, we remember is the body weight times the dosage divided by the concentration. So the body weight, we know that from the question, it's three kilograms. The dosage we know from the question, it's 10 milligrams per kilogram. And the concentration we know from the question again is 15 milligrams, whoopsie, sorry, uh, per tablet. So let's use our manipulatives. So we know that for a dosage, for every single kilo, we're gonna need 10 milligrams. So how many kilos do we have? We have three. This might help you to make columns. So I need 10 for each kilo. So, oh geez, I was mean to myself here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have 10 in my first column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so we've got 10 in each of the three sections. So since I need 10 milligrams per kilo and the cat is three kilograms, I have three sections of 10. So I can just do the math on this and multiply. I have three times 10, right? So I need 30 milligrams. If each one of these manipulatives right now is representing a milligram, I now know that I need 30 milligrams, okay? So all of this equals 30 milligrams. So that's this section here is 30 milligrams. Okay. Now I need to figure out how many tablets I'm going to need. 
So if I group all these together, 30 is my total. 30 is how many I need to or total. But you can see that for tablets, um, there's only 15 milligrams per tablet. So what we can do, since we're dividing this 30 milligrams by the 15 milligrams per tablet, I'm gonna divide this into groups of 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry, I, hold on. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, just making sure I have the right ones. So I, oh wait, sorry, it's 15. So 12, 13, 14, 15. So groups of 15, sorry, since we're doing 15 milligrams per tablet, I'm dividing it by 15. And then let's see how many I can get into the second column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, look at that. I have 30 milligrams. I divided it by 15 milligrams and it's given me two piles of 15 each. So that means that my dose, dose ends up being two tabs, okay? So I have 30 total. I divided it by 15, so I put them into groups of 15, and that resulted with two total groups. So I have two tablets is going to be my dose, okay? So I'm gonna sweep these off to the side because we're gonna move on to the next question. So we've answered the first question. What is the dose? Two tablets. Dose. All right. So now let's look at the total dispensed. So total. I'm just gonna write DISP again. So we're gonna take our dose, we're gonna multiply it by our interval, and we're gonna multiply that by the duration. So we know our dose, we just calculated it, it's two tabs. And I know my interval because it's in the question, TID. What does TID stand for? So TID stands for three times in a day. So we're doing three uh, doses per day. And then our duration, we know that too, because it says it right here. It's for 14 days that we're doing this. So 14, geez, why did I, <laughs> maybe I didn't pick the best numbers for me here because uh... <laughs> this, is, this one might get big. So I know <laughs> that I need to do two tablets per dose. So there's my two tablets for my first dose. But how many doses do I need to do in a day? I need to do three doses, okay? So we can even make a chart here. Um, I need, geez, 14 days. I was just mean here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Is anyone opposed if we just change this to 10? I just don't, I'm running out of room on the paper. So it's 10 days we're actually gonna give this antibiotic. So our duration is for 10. So these are how many days? These are our days. And this up here can be our doses. We know that we need one, two, and three doses each day. So there's my first dose of two. There's my second dose of two. There's my third dose of two. Okay, and I can keep doing that all the way along for day two. Day three, day four, day five, day six. Day seven, I really should have done like, you know, five days. It would have been way easier to count, but here we are. At least we reduced it to eight, or to 10, I mean. <laughs> Day nine. And lastly, day 10, since we changed the question. Okay, can see all my chips? Yeah. Okay, so this represents then, all these little chocolate chips represent a tablet, okay? So we have two tablets. We have two tablets three times in the day, and I have the 10 days. 
So I could just go ahead and count these up, add them all up. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60. So that equals 60. Or I could just put it into my calculator. So two tablets times three doses times 10 days equals 60. Okay. So I like using the chocolate chips as just a way of trying to like make something that's abstract more concrete, right? So it's, it's really abstract to talk about dose and interval and durations, but when we have chocolate chips representing each tablet, it's really obvious how many we need, right? We can just add them all up that way, okay? So I have one more example for you. I'm gonna clear my chips. One more example. So this one is one of those examples where we have um, a tapering dose. Um, again, just to make it a little bit easier on myself, I just did two doses, uh, or I mean two different dosages. Um, sometimes they'll be like three or four, but we ju I just did two and I kept them fairly simple for this one. Again, just so we can demonstrate what's happening with this. So this question, a ferret that weighs one kilogram will be going home with a steroid at a dosage of 10 milligrams per kilo, SID, X3D, then five milligrams per kilo, SID, X3D. So the drug comes in five milligram tablets. What is the dose? What is the total number of tablets dispensed? So let's talk dose first. Let's figure that out. So we have two doses given, or two dosages given, right? We have the 10 milligram and the five milligram. So let's figure out the 10 milligram one first. So let's refresh our memory for what the formula is. Body weight times dosage divided by concentration. So the body weight we know is one kilogram. We know that from the uh, question here. And we know the dosage, it's 10 milligrams per kilo. And we know the concentration, it's five milligrams per tablet. Okay. So let's figure out our dose for our first section here, the first, um, the first dosage. So first of all, we need to look at, we'll look at this first section. So um, I know that I need 10 milligrams per kilo and I know that the animal is one kilo. So for each kilogram, I have one, um, I need 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So these chocolate chips each represent one milligram and you can see we have 10 milligrams and we have that per kilo. Oh wait, there's only one kilo. So that one was easy. Um, this gives us that we need 10 milligrams. That's a 10, there we go, 10 milligrams. And then our concentration is five milligrams per, per tablet. So since we're dividing here, we're gonna take our 10 and we're gonna divide it into groups of five. So one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. So I have two groups of five. So 10 divided by five is equal to two. So we'll be giving two tablets for our first section here. Okay, so for this first dosage, it's two tablets. Uh, so, Let's figure out um, the uh, total dispensed for this first uh, dosage. So total dispensed is equal to the dose times the interval or how many per day and then the duration, which is how many days. So the dose we know for this first one is two tabs. Uh, then the interval, we can look right here, it's SID. So there's one dose per day. And then the duration, it's for three days. Okay. So um, our dose is two, two tablets. 
Our interval, we're just doing one dose per day. That's easy enough. Day one. So here we'll do dose. There's just one per day. And then days. We have three days. So one, two, three. So I have two, four, and then six. Okay, so our total dispense for this first section, I have two tablets, one time per day, and I have three days. So I have a total of six for this first section. So I'll just write here, six uh, tabs, okay? So I'm just gonna uh, set these aside for now. These are our six tablets that we require for the first portion of our dosage. So let's move on to our second dosage now. So I'm just gonna scratch these off for now so we don't get confused. So again, let's go back to our dose. So it's body weight, which we know is one kilogram times the dosage, which now is five milligrams per kilo and divided by the concentration, which hasn't changed, it's five milligrams per tablet. So we know that we need five milligrams for every kilo. We also know that there's only one kilogram. So we can put one chocolate chip representing one milligram, five milligrams per one kilo, it's five. So that's easy enough. Um, so we have the five as this section is five milligrams. And when we divide five by five, let's divide this into groups of five. I already did it right there. It's one. One is the answer. You can divide five by into groups of five, only one. So one tab is our answer for our dose. So let's scooch those aside for a minute. Then we're going to move on to our total dispensed. So our dose, now we just figured out is one tablet. And then our, in oh, sorry, yeah, interval is SID. So that's one dose per day, whoopsie. And our duration, or how many days are we giving this, uh, is three days again. So what is that gonna equal? So my dose is one tablet. How many doses per day do I need? So doses is up here, uh, I just need one. And then for days, if I do this down here, I have one, two, and three days. So I need one, one tablet. That's what one chocolate chip is representing. And I only need one dose in the day. So dose one, on day one, Dose two on day two. That's kind of a weird looking chocolate chip. There we go. Dose three on day three. So our total here is three tablets. Now, if I take the first section and I add it up together with the other section, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, our total total dispensed is nine tablets. All right, so I hope that helps you to kind of understand what we're doing with these numbers. I hope you using something like the chocolate chips can make it a little bit more concrete for you. Um, I don't know if maybe like the, I mean, I feel like the dosage thing isn't that complicated um, to look at this way, but certainly I think this for sure, for sure should help you with the total dispensed, um, especially if you make a chart like this, right? So here, I'm just gonna grab another piece. So if we make a chart where it's like doses are up here and days are down here, um, doses. So how many, do like let's say we have four doses we need to do. And we're gonna do that for eight days. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we know that one dose, um, is, I don't know, let's say four tablets, right? Um, we can sit there and put one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, right? You're gonna need four for each dose and you're gonna need four per day. That gives us something concrete to imagine when we're thinking of those things, 
right? And we can do that for each day. I'm not, I don't know that I have enough chocolate chips pulled out on this leaf for this, but, uh, but we can lay these out for each day, right? And we can, we could count them all up, but I think using these manipulatives helps you to understand what you're doing in terms of why you're multiplying things that way. So when you have the little chart like this, I think it helps you to lay it out. How many doses are you giving? How many days are you doing? And then having those numbers in there, or you can just use your calculator. So we have four tablets, four doses, eight days, 128. Yeah, I definitely don't have 128 chocolate chips out. So, you, so the manipulatives help you to understand a abstract concept um, and be able to just do the math quickly in your calculator that way. So I, I hope, I hope that this uh, manipulatives example kind of made, made this a little bit more, um, you know, practical for you. Uh, if you're watching this and you're more confused than before, um, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I, uh, I hope that's not the case, but please reach out to me if that is the case, because we can work together to uh, figure out a better way than for you to understand it. Okay. Um, so yes, please ask questions in the chat in the virtual classroom, uh, or send me an email. I'm open to setting up uh, private meetings as well. If the math is still really eluding you, we can certainly work through it together. You can show me what you're doing and I can try to uh, catch where, where the confusion is for you, okay? Um, that's all I have for you now. So thanks so much for, uh, for watching this little video.